It's bothering you? I can't help it. I'm gonna bring something up right now. Do you understand what we're doing with this show? What? What? We talk about all the sh** that pisses us off. We are fixing the world one bone at a time. Everybody out there has got a bone to pick. And this is a Bone to Pick podcast. You got bones. Cheap paper towel dispensers. We got bones. Cops on scooters. I got a bone to pick with you. I have a bone to pick with you. We're gonna go nuts. Here we go. Everybody's got a bone to pick. Yeah. Good to be back in America. It's good to be back. What? Where were you? Oh, you were in Cuba. How'd that go? I mean, Mike. Ah, you were in Mike, Cuba. Mike. This kid doesn't even, like his. I was, was in, in, I was his in. His bubble. His bubble. Oh, my God. He's in a bubble. He no. probably heard you say Cuba and went, yeah, right. The and only, then forgot it because he's like, no one goes to Cuba. I, not only did I go to Cuba, I went to Cuba in a, with a hurricane. No, Stacy told me. She asked if you're okay. <sighs> but you know, I was out of the country. Blackout. What? Blackout, I no mean, electricity. You were in Cuba. <laughs> you know, you're, <laughs> you're not in Disney World. <laughs> no water. Could you yeah. imagine Bobby Tings without any of his Tings working? Oh I'm my gonna tell God. You, I'm going to tell you something right now. Uh, I'm going to tell you something right now. Bobby wait. Tings yeah. saved lives oh, in no. Cuba. No, you didn't. Buddy, Bobby Tings saved lives actually he would be an asset dude yeah bobby things in a fucking hurricane blackout in cuba they were like we found him jesus buddy I <laughs> he had, has battery buddy not only have i had three batteries three batteries i had every cord you could imagine oh my god i had a light that charged USB-C. that had oh. an emergency light on it and a oh. regular light when the power went out I had mac and cheese, beef stroganoff, and pad thai, freeze dried camping food that I brought. Just is that in because case. of the hurricane, or you no? Just... We didn't know. No, har- it's we, Bobby things. That was buddy, that was normal. We didn't find out there was a hurricane coming until a day and a half in. Nobody said nothing. How long was power out for? Two and a half days. No power. Couldn't leave. Couldn't walk the streets. No electric. No power. No uh, water. The water. Buddy, the water ran out. We had no water to clean or shower. Put the mic a little bit. Closer. So who who was Ari? Who was it? Who was it? Me and Ari. That's it. Yeah, and he brought a toothbrush and one sock, <laughs> and no toilet paper. Yeah. So you see, I can see Ari being fine with the blackout, just like he. I mean, listen. Luck. He got mad at me because the first night of the hurricane with the blackout. Yeah. I was uh, in my bed going to sleep w- watching uh, Deadpool. Two. Oh my god. Uh, and he came in, he goes, What the fuck? Are you? We have no power. You need to save your power on your phone. And you were watching Deadpool? Yeah, it's the only way I can go to sleep if I hear Ryan Reynolds' voice <laughs> lightly in the background. Well, here, yeah. He came in and shut my phone off, turned everything. He's like, What are you doing? Oh, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, it was. I mean, and we had no water. We have, so it was a nightmare. It was the best nightmare ever. It's the, this was, it was your Super Bowl. You wouldn't survive. Who? You. A second of Cuba. Not one no. second. I would have went to the airport. You wouldn't have made the airport. I think Bobby that. caused the blackouts. I think you were going around snipping cords just as you could be, <laughs> you, I think be you the probably hero. Had, <laughs> probably had so much power on his own. He's like, fuck it. Buddy, you, we, there's no AC at the airport. No, I couldn't do it. The, the lines, uh, they had, when you come out of customs, 17 lines went into one line. It was a two and a half hour wait with all people just merging into like two little lines. How many days were you there? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, so f- for the most part, it was okay. For, for, you only had that for a couple of days. How was the food? The food? Yeah. Buddy, it, it was all right. Oof. It's not Cuban. The Cuban food we get here is because they can go to Super Stop and Shop and buy. They go to Whole Foods. They buy every, <laughs> they buy every spice and they make it amazing. Yeah. They there, you know, they don't have. They have salt. Okay. They don't get. They don't get stuff. How are the cigars? The cigars. The ones that were real, were good. Yeah. Great, but they're just as expensive as here. Did you get? Did you smoke a real Hoyo, buddy? I smoked seventeen real Hoyo, dude. I woke uh. up in the morning. I made a little cup of Cuban coffee with sugar. With what? Sugar. What's that? Sugar. Okay. Oh. Why'd you say it like that? Because that's how they say it in Spanish. Okay. I was like, we're too close from the election to be using that word already. And then, (laughs) (laughs) 
And I would I would sit on the balcony with a little Monte Cristo. Oh. A little Monte Cristo. Smoke on my balcony. Hola! <laughs> <laughs> You hear people screaming, oh yeah, do it, let's call it up in the bag. Did you have did you call anybody up to the room? No, nah, no, there's no prostitution's illegal. No, yet. I wasn't talking. I was just maybe making friends. What are you talking about? Well, I had yeah, we made friends. We made a couple friends. I mean, dude, listen. Everybody's on you. And there's no we were in the nice touristy section. It's yeah. still I mean, dude, you have to check this is where you'd shut down. You can't flush the toilet paper. What? What do you mean? You have to wipe. No. I'm not going. Put it in the barrel. What? <laughs> Wait, what? You can't what are you, camping in the woods? You can't flush the toilet paper. So what you happens? You poop, you wipe, put it in the barrel, wipe, put it in the barrel, wipe, put it in the barrel. So you put shit in your, you, your shit on the paper. Yeah. And then you put it in a barrel. Yeah. And it just stays. It's, yeah. With and a lid? There's a lid. And there's just a barrel of shit paper? <laughs> yeah. Nah. Are you in a Hilton? Like, what is this shirt? No, we're in a casa. A what? A ca <laughs> That's a house. A casa. What's a casa? A casa. A por favor, so uh, uh, It's not, it, uh, you're not, you're not, you're not Cuban. I'm not. I know, but you came home thinking you were for a little bit. I'm learning Spanish, I tell you that. Oh, no. Mike. See? see? Uh, <laughs> oh, buddy, I'm, I'm on Babel right now. Are you? Yeah, I'm, oh. I'm learning Spanish immediately. Okay. I'm telling you, dude. It was, you had to wipe. Now, now I wiped, rolled it in toilet paper so you couldn't see my poop. Okay. And then put it in the barrel. You wiped. rolled it like a cigar. I, I, I rolled a shit cigar. You rolled a shit cigar so <laughs> I you rolled could... a shit cigar. How, how about it stink every time you open the barrel? Oof. It Oof. smelled like the whole city. This, this shit. <laughs> every... Jeffrey Dahmer's bedroom. <laughs> Buddy, this shit everywhere. <laughs> he had a barrel, too. This shit everywhere. Uh, all right. I mean, everywhere. Okay. On the street. Yeah, yeah, no. I saw 19 different colored shits. What? I, dude, all the shit colors, dogs, humans, <laughs> shit. Okay. In okay. the street. Can we, gotta, do you want to, do you want to start the show? Sure. Okay. What's up, everybody? I'm Paul Verzi. What's up, everybody? I'm Paul Verzi. I'm Roberto. Oh, God. And this <laughs> is, is a Bone, bone to Pick podcast. podcast. <laughs> Cuba edition. <laughs> bum, bum, ba, oh, bum, my bum. God. So how long are you going to be Cuban for? A week? I don't know, maybe a month. Or... <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I'm learning. Spanish. I'm glad you guys. I'm glad that that worked. I would have been a miserable, huh? I would have been miserable. Buddy, we were at the airport <laughs> going through customs. It was no AC. This line was from hell Ugh. just to get out of the airport, and you're just like this. Did you ever? And you can't guess? say shit. You there's no there's no. Can I speak to a manager? There's no express. Yeah. There's no TSA. What airline? Uh, Delta from Miami. Okay. You couldn't get out of there, though, when there was no power? No, they wouldn't. No. No. They shut the planes down. Fuck. How are they going to fly the planes out? No power. The whole fucking country? Whole country, no power. Wow. Two days. They don't have generators over there? The hotels did. Okay, thank the, God. The, 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 but we can't, you Americans can't go to the hotel. Now, we were in the you hotel. Can't go, you can't go to the hotel because they don't take American credit cards. So let me ask you this. How many bones did you have when you were out there? I mean, dude... This is your bone? <laughs> I mean, uh, here, here's a great thing about it. I, we, our goal was to get out of here during the election and not know anything about it. We didn't look at news. We didn't ask anybody. I didn't know who won until Saturday afternoon. You know what's crazy? I was out of the country, too. We were both out of the country. Where were for, you? I was in Canada. But I knew what was going on. I'm just saying. It was, I was just saying it was a Canada is not out of the country. Yeah, it is. Nah. Well, you know what? Tell that to the airport, what they made me go through. What they made you go through? Well, listen, it wasn't what you went through. <laughs> you, <laughs> I think three people got shot for you to get in. <laughs> Paul's like, oh, yeah, we could get no croissants <laughs> on the airplane. Delta Lounge didn't have chicken salad. I mean, they did, but it looked like it had been there for 20 hey, minutes. Hey, I'll tell you this. Toronto had power. <laughs> <laughs> Toronto, I mean, look, Canada's us. Come on. It is, but dude, you want to know something? Can I tell you something about Canadian money? Yeah. yeah. They, nobody wants that garbage. <laughs> Buddy, yeah. nobody wants. Not even You them. pull out, Ari brought Canadian money and euros. And they were like, ugh. 
Yeah. I pulled out a dollar. They're like, ying, Dude, ying. our fucking dollar. So when I did that, I was shooting a show out there, and they gave me like a they gave me like an allowance. Yeah. Or, so they just go, hey, here's, and I go, look, and I go, what's this for? I was like, $260 Canadian just for me to eat. Right. And then I, I didn't use it the whole time I'm there. Right. And then I go to the airport to change the currency. Five bucks. It's like 150. It was literally a hundred less, a hundred less dollars. First of all, you never change it at the airport. Why? Because it's the worst exchange rate they, they give you. Okay. Well, my hotel didn't have We it. had to exchange our money. Yeah. We had to give it to what a guy. What was a dollar worth? <laughs> Dude. One dollar. Is that the, it, where they give you a penny and... The guy quits his job and says, I'm going to go start my own hotel. <laughs> Three, yeah. 300, I think it was 300 pesos. You gave a guy five? You were fucking a god? Dude, I exchanged I exchanged $50 or $100. <laughs> I exchanged $100. I had, I think, 35,000 pesos. It gave me like this. Bobby, things changed my life. <laughs> a dollar is worth four cents. Yeah, a uh, dollar. It was, no, 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 no. One peso is four cents. To right, so it was... Yeah. Um, I think one dollar is three hundred pesos or five hundred pe four hundred four hundred pe uh, four hundred twenty pesos. Well, you get the exchange rate is like three twenty. Oh, okay. A on the right. streets, but yeah. you had to meet a guy and then he put your money in a bag and somebody roped it up and. Are the streets filled with like you need drugs? Like, do they have that or not? They, they, but dude, you can't. There was a guy who went there and he filmed everything. The girls coming up to him. And then him. never came back. <laughs> no, he filmed everything for like cha exchanging money. Yeah. He filmed getting like those cigars mm -hmm. from the guys, the the Cubans in some dude's house. Yeah. He filmed uh, girls coming up to him. You know, they're all in jail. They saw the government saw the video and went and got those people. Ten years in jail. Were they American? The reason why Cuba is safe. No, they're Cubans. Okay. The reason why Cuba is safe, because the punishment is so extreme for robbing, uh, doing illegal stuff, it's immediate. They just come get you and you're gone for 10 years. That's why, you know, you might get robbed, but you're not going to get killed. You, you know what I mean? You, you're right. It's not like it, the reason that Cuba was safe for a few years ago because they had money. They had more money. Right. Right. Um, but now in the last few years the younger generation, they don't have money and they see all the shit that people have yeah. and they get a little, little uply, but the pun, I'm the, this guy can't go back to Cuba now because he filmed all these people. These two girls that came up to him, he's like, they're prostitutes, gone, jail, 10, 10 years. Why would you fucking film that? Oh. Wait, wait, the girls who he just put his camera on, so they weren't like active participants, they just happened to get filmed by this guy yeah, and then they the went to jail? Yeah, the guy they exchanged money with. That's cr oh, okay, he went into a house to get money because you have to exchange your euros or, or dollars or whatever into pesos. Yeah. Gone. It's illegal. You're supposed to go to the bank. Yeah. They want their money. Yeah. Uh, and, and yeah, so you, like I couldn't, I didn't film a lot of this. I didn't want people getting in trouble. What know? did you guys do at night? Was there any nightlife stuff? Did you? Dude, the first night we were there, the, dude, the first second we were there, we were within 20 minutes, we were in some like hood and their hood. The, Back in the 50s and 40s, that was going to be the new Vegas. Mm -hmm. Havana was going to be the shit. Mm -hmm. Like Vegas is now, that's what Havana was going to be. It's European. It's like Paris or Rome or, you know, Belgium. The streets are cobblestone. The buildings are like amazing, beautiful buildings. And But after that, after, the, you know, 60-something years of embargo, dude, it just fell to shit. So the neighborhoods are, you know, the buildings are falling down. People are selling stuff out of their windows. You guys know you could have went to Europe, right, during the election? Yeah, I know. But it, it was, it, it, the beaches, I mean, better than Aruba. What was the temperature? 80. Nice. B the beaches were amazing, dude. Like, we went to the beach one day. You, you, you take, you, you got to hire a guy in a fucking 1952 Ford, you, you know, and it goes 30 miles an hour and shakes. Da, 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 da. But you're in this thing. He drops you to the beach. The guy takes you. Gives you an umbrella, gives you the thing. You're on this sandy white beach. The water is Caribbean. It's fuck. It's oh, amazing. Right. Comes over with food, rice, potatoes, yucca, fish, chicken. Serves you like sixty bucks for everything. I'm starving. Yeah, God. That's What's awesome. that? I'm starving now. So good, dude. <laughs> God, I want to go to the beach. Too. It was so nice. <laughs> some fried yucca and some garlic cream. Uh, Ooh, dude, we're, we're, he's he's getting he's getting ramrodded. First twenty minutes here, he's in this guy's. What? He's getting, we're in this guy's house. Like this lady uh, took us 
And we're like, we don't know how to say no. We just follow her into the ghetto. Wait a minute, what? We're in a guy's house. He's shirtless. Looks like he fought Steven Seagal in the movie. And I look in the corner, and he's totally fucking Ari out of his money. And Ari doesn't know what to do yet because we're both there 20 minutes. Oh. I walk away. I look in the corner. It's all voodoo. Uh, nah. It's all chicken bones. Not and me. Like a little. <laughs> not me. Dude, First got... of all, I would have been like, are you guys, I'm not going to this fucking person. So you went to the ghetto in somebody's house? Buddy, we just didn't know. And then we're like, all right, we'll go to Potagus, the factory. We had to walk through. I mean, but there's trash everywhere. We're walking through these streets, dude. And everybody's looking at you. They know who you are. We had to walk for 40 minutes oh, into dude. the hood. That sounds like a nightmare. And we got there and they're closed. Ugh. But then we found H.P. Upman's bar. Okay. So we're walking around and like, ah, where is it? Some guy's like, oh, amigo, amigo. We're like, nah, nah, nah. Because we're like, now we're nervous, right? Because every day is a festival. Well, festival, you know, come with me. And they take you into a hut with voodoo, right? What's up with the voodoo? I don't know. Then they take us into this bar. It's the most beautiful bar ever. It's like you're in the 50s. Every cigar you wanted, rum, in the middle of nowhere. So wow. we went in, we had two Hoyo number threes. Whoa. He's drinking rum. I got a, I got a, a, a Cafe Bonbon. It's like, you know, it's got condensed milk on the, I mean, dude, we're smoking, we're talking. Dude, it was insane. That sounds great. Beautiful. And then we had to walk home from there. At night? No, thank God. Dude, at night? No. Dude, when the power went out? <sighs> you guys taking cars anywhere? We took a car, went to the Buena Vista Club. Okay. Uh, the first night, and you go in, and uh, we went to the restaurant first where Obama went. But here's the thing: you pull up, it's it's like it's get like you like the buildings, kids are begging. It's like what's going? And then you walk in and you go up some stairs, and it's the nicest restaurant. It's from like you know the twenties. Yeah. Wood and is there casinos? Uh, we can't go. Why? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think there's okay. casinos. All right. But we had a great meal there, but, you know, the food is whatever. Then we went to the Buena Vista Club, and they have all the Cuban music and the, you know, ba -ba 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 -dam, and the dancing. Ari was dancing. He got shit-faced. Yeah. He was dancing, and the Cuban girl was dancing with him. I mean, it was amazing. Then we took a car. So we took cars two places. Okay. But we walked, we do, we walked 25,000 steps a day. I mean, no joke. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you're okay, and I'm glad I wasn't there. I'm back. All right, you're back. I'm back. Okay. Uh, we got bones. We got plenty. We got lots of bones. You yeah. just want to go right into the fan bones? That was a. Uh, there was a lot of. That was Cuba bones. This is the we'll, Cuban we'll, bone special. We'll do a bone. We'll do a bone each. Quick bone. Quick bone. Yeah. Ready? All right. Be, this go. is a big one. I think. This, I think the cleaning crew stealing our bones. The only one here is the big one. Ready? What? What happened to the little bones? I've been looking for it all morning. I can't find it. Mike with the I bone. I think people are stealing our bones. Dude, somebody's stealing the bones. Who uses the studio? You got you to camera. You got to get a camera. Someone else uses the... Nobody, nobody when I'm not here. They're using it for their voodoo things. Yeah, it could have been a Cuban. Oh, okay. What's your bone? I think the guy was Haitian. What? Anyways. What did you say? I think he was Haitian. Oh, okay. He was dark as this microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Bone one. I got I got so many bones. But my I would say my bone is this. And I get I get called Bobby things because I got stuff on me all the time. But I'm always ready for situations. When you travel and you don't bring you don't go over the stuff. The scenarios, if you're going over all the, go I'm going to need flip-flops and sunblock. Going to the beach, I'm bringing, my, you know, little goggles, you know, bring my swimsuit, some sunglasses and a hat. Oh, I'm good. Those are all the good things of travel. When you travel anywhere out of your street, the reason why I bring things. Too many, but. I got a knife. I got all kinds of things. I got a bag. I always think of the bad stuff that might happen. So when I went to Cuba, I went through all the bad things that might happen. Power outage. No lights. No food. So what did I bring? I brought dehydrated hiking stroganoff, mac and cheese, a little pad thai. I brought a bunch of bars. 
protein bars. I brought a filter a, 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 that filters water. So if we had a drink out of a puddle, we could have, right? I brought a light. I brought battery packs for my phone and for, you know, I bought three of them. Did I need three of them? No. In my head, I don't know. Why do you need that? Yeah. Why do you need these? Just go to the store. Well, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? what? A hurricane. God said no. <laughs> and wiped out everything. <laughs> and Bobby Bars, Bobby Patai, Bobby Battery came. All, everybody came to the king. I'd be the king. Oh, no. you Because I have it. I was charging everybody's phones. I was charging. <laughs> I had light. I w walking out, we had lights. I had little snacks. They probably thought you were from the future. Listen, if you, <laughs> you, if you drop Bobby things in the middle of a third world country, they're going to think you were sent from heaven. I am <laughs> sent from heaven. When you travel, bring things. Bring a light, a rechargeable light. Bring a battery pack. Uh, that that 20,000 that will charge a bunch of shit, bring cords, bring food, just a little thing of little dehydrated something, just in case something, is it going to happen? Probably not. But if it does, then you and your family and friends are taken care of. No matter what, that's it. Stop thinking about all the good things when you go away. You have to think about the bad things so when you go away. You're saying be negative. Not be negative. Be prepared. Be prepared. Yeah, okay. That's an American thing. Are be, you a doomsday prepper? I'm not. I'm, I'm. Listen, let me tell you something right now. You are. No. But I'm going to be. <laughs> you have a pet. Do you have like an underground not thing yet. at your house? No, but I do have a tiny house. Do you house. have an escape room? Buddy, I have a house to go to. Yeah. We go to New Hampshire. No, no, you don't tell them where the house is. It's, dude, New Hampshire's huge. Okay. I don't know where the fuck it is. Okay, that's true. Listen to me. <laughs> Buddy, I got things, and I'm going to get more things this week. How many things? I'm going to get as much things as I need so when the blackout happens here in America, when something happens here and the grid goes down. Uh, do yep. you go to fucking Lowe's or Home Depot yeah, dude, and you get my, a generator? Yeah, just eat your, yeah, we're going to get the gas. Buddy, when I was in Cuba, the gas line was three hours long. Mike, you know we're going to hear about all the things bad that happened in Cuba that are going to happen here now for a good couple months now. <laughs> Buddy, if it does happen, you can eat your white hoodies. How's that? <laughs> you know, Stacey's no, going to make a sauce with your fucking your white hoodies and your sauteed Yankees. sauteed hoodie? <laughs> Tell you what, me, Max, and Don are going to be eating fucking beef stroganoff. Paul's yeah. eating an Air Force One sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> good bone. Good bone. I like it. I like Bring, it. don't think positive things. Think a few negative things. What if power goes out? What if the water supply is down? Bring a little filter. It's a little filter. It goes on the top of a water you bottle. Brought a, you brought a filter? Yes. I brought a filter, dude. You can't okay. drink the water there. You'll die. I don't, okay. And what, what if the, the, we had no water, dude? No, dude. I drank in Mexico. I was on the bowl, and I'm not telling you. Clear water was coming out. Of, when I tell you, I didn't think it was possible you for clear water to come out of my ass. Yeah, clear can't. water. Nothing in the bowl but clear water. You drank water in Mexico? I, I was, no. It ice. Was ice cubes. You don't drink yeah. the ice. I was there for spring break. You don't care. It's 2001. You I'm put, at spring break. You don't drink the ice. The, where do you think the ice comes? If you I, can't drink the water, how do you think they make the ice? No, we had a guy in a moped drop off Papa John's. You, you know what? You deserve it. I know. You deserve it. I you can do the, the ice at the hotels because they have their yeah. own filtration, but don't even drink the water there. No, I think it was the Papa John pizza at 3 I would never in the drink. I, know, I, had no, I had Coke with no ice. Yeah. Oh, and no, I don't drink. But because I was negatively prepared, we were all right for two days. All right. Listen, we were good. It worked out. Good bone. Oh, my God. All right, guys. Bone two. My bone is, I don't know if I've done this before. This is a self bone. I'm going to kind of make fun of myself here. Uh, okay. I did something that my wife has still been making fun of me over, and I'm going to share it on the show. I didn't know if I should do it. You trimmed your, but you, I did, you trimmed your bush fat. What? What? No. So I went shopping, okay? And uh, 
I so I had to go to Toronto. My bone is 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 me right now. I had to go to Toronto, and they wanted me to have different outfits of solid color things. So you know this. You know this. When when you got to go on camera, they don't want they want all the colors that they don't want. I love. They don't want black. They don't want white. They don't like cream. They don't, they don't like, like stripes. So they don't like stripes. They don't like dots. They don't like dark. All my shit. I love dark. Okay, except a couple of cream and whites. They don't want cream or whites either. So they want. They want reds. They, they want, want light blues. They want greens. They, they like earth like tones. A, like, like a pink, all this shit. So I go to the store. Now, I didn't have time because I was traveling. I didn't have time to go to the mall. But I realized that a Marshalls was by my house, like 10 minutes. So I go, oh, Marshalls, solid color. It doesn't matter about if it, the quality, right? Yeah. Go on a, I'll go to Marshalls and get it. So I go there, and I know that the Marshalls is next to the home goods. So I go and I park, and I go to Marshalls, and the Marshalls look different. And I was just there like a few weeks ago, but when I walk in this time, there's Christmas trees everywhere where the clothes were. And there's like all this stuff, and I'm like walking around, I'm going, man, this is, what the fuck's going on here? This is, this is, Mar and I'm walking around, and I'm like, no clothes, there's no clothes. So like now I'm talking to myself, and then finally I see an aisle that says apparel. And in the apparel, there's just colored t-shirts folded and thin hoodies folded. So I grab a red one and I grab like a green t-shirt and I'm like walking around holding it. And a lady walks by and I go, man, Marshall's has changed. And she just ignores me and keeps walking by. Because you don't know dude, Spanish. No, dude, check this shit out. This is nuts. See, si. <laughs> She could have been. She, was, <laughs> she could have been Cuban. So I'm going, what's going on? I'm fucking, this has changed. Dude. Christmas is up. What, like what? There's art stuff. Right, so I'm walking around, I go, man, Marshalls has changed. I'm in there 15 minutes, dude. And all of a sudden I go up, and there was somebody in there, a, a dude who was, I think, transitioning. So I think it was a... a transitioning from a, his from shift, a man morning to a, shift to afternoon shift? No, from a... from a Marshalls to TJ Maxx? No, I think from a man to a woman, I think. And I went up and I go, hey, what's going on? I go, dude, this is Marshalls? And he goes, no, you're in Michael's. Marshalls is next door. I was in, Mike, I was in Michael's art craft store. For 15 minutes. Listen to me. They have shirts? 15 minutes. No, it's like shirts that you paint on. Like, it's uh, like they had an aisle of t-shirts. Yeah. They had an aisle of solid color t-shirts. So is your bone, don't be stupid my and bone, read the sign my before bone, you go in? My <laughs> bone is nowhere the fuck you are because yeah. I spent, it, 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 I didn't have enough time now. And I, and I just hand it back. He goes, no, Marshall's is next door. Then I go to Marshall's. Marshall's has nothing. I wasted all that time and had to be at a party. So I fucking didn't get anything. And I had to just go through all of my clothes and fucking go through my closet to get salvage things that actually ended up working. But yeah, so my bone is, my wife's been making fun of me. And then she goes like this. She goes, she said to a friend at my daughter's game, that's him in a nutshell. Then I go, what? <laughs> That's, I mean, that's your bone. I go, dude, no, no. I forget go. about, no, we, dude, someone says that's him in a nutshell. So she goes, she goes in a nutshell. And I just looked over and like the girls are playing and it was another mom whose daughter was on the volleyball team. And I just go, like, I didn't want to be nuts. So I go, what did that? I go, what do you mean? Like in a nutshell. And then her friend looked over and smiled. I go, no, but like, I do this all the time. Do I just, no, you just like you, you know, sometimes you could be like, a little, and I go in a nutshell. And we started to get into a little thing and I go, I don't do this all the time. However, it was stupid. Uh, my bone is Paul. Look, read the signs, know where you are. And I was in the Marshalls three weeks earlier and where all the Christmas stuff was, there were racks of clothes. My bad. Can I just say, can I defend myself? It was right next to the door. And where I parked was under the sign. It's you in a nutshell, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> this, I'm on her side. What? You heard me. You're on her side? In a nutshell. In, you, in a nutshell. That, buddy. I'm not aloof like that. You're a, oh, what a word. Polly aloof. That's your name. <laughs> dude. No. Dude, first of all. You don't even know I went to Cuba. Do you know where my You thought I went to fucking <laughs> to fucking uh, Puerto Rico. You don't even know I went somewhere else. My wife goes. You're like, like oh yeah, you went to Cuba, dude. No, my, oh, yeah. my wife goes, is Bobby all right? Everything oh. is Bobby back? Is everything all right? I go, what do you mean? <laughs> she goes with the hurricane. I go, what do you mean? Of course he's all right. I go, I didn't hear anything. She goes, oh, because I know he was in Cuba, and I go, oh, yeah. In a nutshell. <laughs> in a nutshell. <laughs> you didn't know the guy you do a podcast with, one of your friends for years, Close closest friends. friend. Close. Clo one of the closest. closest. I, not a, uh, not. Did you know I was in Toronto? Who the fuck? You did, let me ask you a question. Yes, I did. You did? Yeah, but you know what? I was in a hurricane in Cuba surviving. I'm so glad you're all right. You didn't even send a, you don't give a Of fuck. course I do. 
Your wife cares for you. What's today, Bobby? Today is your birthday. Oh. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. okay. In what? a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I think we know the name of this episode, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's I a... think. Okay. Well, anyway. In a nutshell. Who walks into an art store and, and goes, Marshalls is chased. <laughs> There's not one ounce of clothes. It's <laughs> paintbrushes and paint. The only acceptable part is that it was called Michaels and Marshalls, except for you didn't. It could have been. It could have been a, a, a auto zone next to it, and you yeah. would have walked in and been looking at the batteries, seeing if it fits. He would have walked out with like a, a, a cord. With a carburetor. Okay, I almost did walk out with two t-shirts and a thin red hoodie. Uh, that's my. That's my bone. In a nutshell. In a nutshell. All right. She's absolutely right. All right. That's you. Crazy. You are crazy. aloof. That's crazy. Happy. That's birthday birthday yeah. by the way thank you buddy happy birthday pal. let's uh thank you let's let's go to our favorite part of the show on a momento fam on a momento what on a momento happy birthday, birthday to you oh, happy birthday to you, to oh. you. happy birthday thank you dear paul aloof <laughs> in a nutshell happy <laughs> birthday oh, to God, you thank you thank you bud thank uh, you thank you mikey Mikey went and got you a cupcake. What do, what do we got? How uh, nice is that? Look oh, at that. You're caught in. it. I caught it. You caught it. I caught it. Look at what is that? That's a um. That's a uh, a cream puff tart. Nice. That's a, isn't that what they call you in the gay a community? Tart for my tart. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call Mike. They call Mike in the gay community a cream puff tart. Oh, it's got a little pie on the bottom. Yeah, it's a, that's the the tart part. What? I mean, you usually serve yourself second, but do your thing. No, no. Give me some of that bottom part. Gonna, want the bottom. That's tonight. your name in the gay Just, community. Uh, bottom, <laughs> bottom, part? That bottom part. Bottom part. I gonna be bottom part. We're passing you around. I mean, you're being stingy on your cake. No, no, I'm trying. It's it's frozen. Shout out to our great producer, Mike Albanese, who went out there and got a cream. Dude, that was how good was that? Cream puff for my cream puff. Oh, um, and now it's time for the fan bones. Fan. It's your time, guys. By the way, thank you guys so much for listening to the show. Please continue to rate and review the show to make it move up. And all you got to do is go to the Bone to Pick YouTube channel, click the subscribe button, send your bones to bone to pick cast at gmail.com. And if you have not already, join our Patreon at uh, Bone to Pick Cast. No, what's the Patreon? Wow. What's the Patreon? Wow. Patreon.com slash Patreon bone to pick slash bone to pick cast. Um, it's, it's only our third week doing the show, so I get it. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So thank you guys so much. And let's get into the bones, Mikey. What do we have? Well, for Paul's birthday, we're going to do one that uh, specifically uh, wants somebody wants Paul to uh, to be a part of. Said so this is Paul will love this. So I pulled it for your birthday. Okay. Ryan has a bone to pick with people that wear two different sports teams' apparels. You can't do it. Yeah. You can't do Yankees it. Yankees jersey and a Knicks hat. I mean. Look, it's a tough one because I know you're confusing people. Then people are like, which one are you? I think you got to choose the day that you're going to go Yankee or you're going to go Nick. If you showed up here and you had your Patriots and Celtics, I go, all right, this guy loves New England sports teams, but I don't know what you're – you got to just choose a day, I think. Okay? Now, I'll tell you this. If you want to be that guy, get the tattoos. Go, go one team and it's like you show if you really need to show it. But wearing the, I just think wearing multiple team apparel, I just think it's too much. It's confusing. I don't like it. I, I you know what I mean? Like if I, sh if I came in here with a, with a pinstripe Yankee jersey and then, you know, a, a, like a, a New York Giants hat, I get it. It's like, oh, but it just seems it's not. I'm, listen, I'm a guy that likes to, to match. You got to match. You know, so I, I would say I agree with that. I think it's a little, I think it's a little much. And it says that you're like, your sports is so your life. That's the other thing. It's like that, you know, that guy's got eight fantasy football teams. That guy's, well, are you okay? Yeah. What? I do do little, your stomach hurt? I, uh, I ate too much. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think it's a little much. I, I like the bone. I think it's a little much. But wait a minute. Now, <laughs> what if, what if somebody like the Broncos, Right. And they're like the Yankees. Well, then, they wear the Yankees and then a Broncos shirt. Why not go Yankees Monday, Broncos Wednesday? But I mean, because you're talking same. There's two things here. There's the I am New York. 
right? I rep New York all through. I think yeah. that's acceptable. Or, if you're in a Rockies and a Broncos, but you can't go Broncos Yankees. But even you that's a lot. But I know what he's saying. But he's you right. can't have another. You either now, right? Do you have to pick your state? You know what I mean? Like you can't what, win. If you yeah. love the Red Sox, but you're a Giants fan, which would never happen. There are. What? There are. How many? Two? I mean, no, no, there are, but no, not a lot. There's none. But I know what you're saying. There's none. New York, Boston. It's not. You can't. I know somebody. That's you can, a Red, who? I know somebody that's a Red Sox fan, who? and I, they like it. this dude. Who? I don't know. Name him. No. Do I know him? Not name. No, 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 no. Like, he likes just, what? He likes the Red Sox? He likes the Red Sox, and I believe he is a Jets. He might be a Jets or a... So I think what happened... No, but here's what happens. What happens is when you have family in Massachusetts, and they go, we're taking you to Fenway Park. Dude, if, if the first game I ever went to... Let's just say my uncle lived in Chicago, and he goes, I'm taking you to a Cubs game. And I fucking, he buys me the jersey, and I'm this little kid from New York at a Cubs game, and I see a big game at Wrigley Field. All of a sudden, I'm a fucking Cubs fan as a kid. So that could happen, no? No. You have a... <laughs> well, you, <laughs> you, gave me the five, five. you gave me the five. I was raising my hand. Oh, yeah. Do you, you have an... <laughs> You just stole that five. Oh, dude. I, <laughs> you have an uncle in Chicago? No. Oh, okay. I nice. do like what Bobby's saying, though. If you're wearing a Raiders hat and you have a fucking, like, Colorado Rocket, you're a, you're, you're, first of all, you're divorced. Yeah. That's a definite. You're divorced, and it's nuts. It's a little, I don't, I, I feel like, look, this whole team thing, it's child's play. Yeah, but you it's, can, it, I get it, and I'm fine with it. You love the Yankees, do you? You know what I mean? I love the Red Sox. Fuck it. Really? Really? Come on, guys. It's it's a it's our um, this bone got me going. It's it's our ventilation. Yeah, it's, it's, our, it's it's the way we release. It's a past uh, fuck it, uh, Red yeah. Sox. It's a, fuck it's the a connection to history. Your but, family. but it's also but it's also yeah. listen. It's 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 really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of life. It doesn't matter. But if you're gonna pick somebody, right? If you're gonna pick a team, yeah, you should stay in your area of wh where it comes from i'm celtics bruins patriots red sox that's it max had an opportunity at one point to pick the teams you want i said you want to be a yankee fan you were born in manhattan you can like the yankees and i will take you to yankees games i love the red sox what he do had, you do he said fuck no of course not he's from Boston inside and out. Nah, oh, so he's a Red Sox fan. <laughs> yeah, of course he is. We but you know crazy. what? That's, that's he did that. I would have slapped. Dude, I do face. a bit of my special. <laughs> no, I do a bit of my special. You, if you, you want to find out how, how the parents are, if the parents are good, is if the kids love the same sports teams. Because if they don't, if a kid wants to see you suffer, you fucked up. But he did. He did go to Tampa Bay. Don't let him do that. He did. He did go to Tampa the Bucks when Brady went. Oh, okay. And I, I let that happen. Is he a Bucks fan now? No, he went. He went back as soon as Brady went back to the Pats. Okay, so you understand. So he's his compass is correct. He gets it. He gets and it. And I let him go. I was like, go ahead, go to. The I wanted to go. It's because he's raised right. But he has Tampa fans. But like we went, we just did the Boston Comics Come Home show mm -hmm. uh, a week ago. You know, thousands of people. I closed it after everybody. Uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> Thanks for talking about that. Thanks for bringing that up, fucking friend. Okay. Doesn't even know I'm, in a f I'm dying in a third world country. And I did one of the greatest shows of yeah, my life. Yeah. Closed it after fucking Sam Morrell, fucking Johnny Chang, Ronnie Chang. Ooh, I mean, get Johnny his name. Chang. Ronnie Johnny Chang, Chang, Bill Burr. Is... And I follow Bill Burr in Boston at the Garden. No, I'm uh, good. I mean, there's fucking one and a half people that could do that in the world. Yeah, but Paul was in Toronto. Hi, yeah, I was Paul out of the Toronto. country, man. Yeah, he was in Toronto. <laughs> Toronto. Fuck it. Dude, I didn't have service. Yeah, you had service. I know, but I had to have like a roaming. Uh, I'm going to throw up. Um, <laughs> First of all, there's no roaming in Canada, in Mexico anymore. You Mex just turn your phone on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I, I, there was some data thing going Dude, on. Dude, I didn't also. have data. <laughs> I didn't have electricity or agua. Okay, we got to get back to the bone. Whatever. The bone. I'm sorry. You're right. I, I went off. The bone, I think, I think it's one team at a time. Yeah, dude, if One I'm going to gonna go out and I see, like, I got a fresh pair of Air Force Ones that come out the box. I'm going right. to get some crispy jeans. Yeah. Then I'm like, should I go? I'm going to go a little, little Yankee jersey. I'm not going. I'm not going other hat, other sports team. You just can't. You choose a day. You're a confused guy. And you're, you're saying to people. It's too much. I like, look what I like. It, it's too much. Yeah, it's I needy. Think, uh, can I, may, I, may I rewind it for a moment? 
you said it was too much to wear a hat, two different hats, but then in the same sentence, you also said, just get the tattoos. Because here's the deal. You said it's extreme to wear the hat and the shirt. <laughs> yeah, get but get two different <laughs> tattoos and you'll you get something <laughs> forever on your arm. No, but if you <laughs> care. You like an no, asshole. but I'm saying at least you're not showing it in public. You, nobody's going to see an ankle tattoo. You know tattoo. why? Can I say something? Sure. I understand that because the, the shirts are very ostentatious. When they make a shirt, it's big, it's bold, yeah. it's got bleh. You know what I mean? It, it, it's, it's out there. The shirts are crazy. The hats are a little more subtle. Yeah. But still, yeah. it represents. You know where this guy, you see that beard. That angry face and that hat, you know that guy's a New Yorker. <laughs> He's a dirty New Yorker with an attitude. All right. Good you see that gray skin. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> All right, what's next, Fucking Mike? in a nutshell. <laughs> you guys want to do a video bone or two here? Yeah, I love Get this fucking, thing going. Yeah. Let's round Come this on! thing out with a couple Just video bones. Spice it up! Oh. Video. It's time for a what? One, uh, yeah, two, two. Oh, unos, dos, tres, cuatro. Video bone. Video bone. Video bone. Video bone. This is from our Patreon boner, Joey. Here we go. Joey. Um. So if you're at a family gathering <laughs> and you're a smoker. Oh, great. Are you going to fucking kick a dirt in the garage with Uncle Jesse? <laughs> Smoke it all. Don't be a refry guy, okay? I don't want you half smoking your dirt, mushing it with your dirty dirt fingers and then coming to the side, put it in your holster and stinking it up while Aunt Betty's trying to sell her senses and now you're touching the Cool Whip can and the tip is all smelling from your dirty dirt fingers. <sighs> sorry, I should've took a breath in between, but I'm not sorry for this fucking bone because it's annoying. And I like the smell of cigarettes. I don't mind it at all. Once you blow a toke in my face, then go love yourself. But other than that, I'm cool with it. I'm fine. But you just got to smoke it all. And if you don't, leave it in whatever dark dungeon you smoked it in. Don't bring it over here. No, you can't. Love the pod, boys. Love all the f things you guys do. Bone her out. Dude. Right. So what is he? He's saying the people that I first of all I love that he said go love yourself. He <laughs> he ed, he made he said go fuck yourself in the most Disney <laughs> way I've ever heard. Go love yourself. I'm gonna start using that. What he's saying, and I love that because what he's saying is these people that are so they they're so addicted. They go in the garage and they take a couple yeah. and then they lightly put it out, but it stinks and they bring it with them. Yeah. And it's like, go have a smoke, finish the smoke, take an extra five minutes, finish the smoke and keep it in an ashtray and yeah. fucking leave. Don't, don't, who walks around with a fucking yeah, I like that he called it a dart dungeon. Uh, no, dude, he's right, dude. Finish <laughs> yeah. his fucking. Nah, you know, he's right. He's, yeah, look, I, look, cigars, I'll smoke one, but I leave it where it is. Could be the wife though. What do you mean? The wife can go, can you fucking just wait? And the guy's like, I just need to get a couple. And he's and, and she's like, don't take long. So he fucking runs out. What does she do? She goes, don't take long. Don't take long. There's people, our family's here. You gotta divorce that face. What? That person's gotta be, why would you talk to some? If Donna went, don't take long. I'd be like, get the <laughs> fuck, go fucking, what you, with your face? No, if you go, Don, I just need a couple. I need to, I'm just going to go smoke a cigarette. Yeah. I'll be back in five minutes. Your grandmother's here. Don't take long. My grandmother's dead. Your aunt is here. Which one? Peggy or Dottie? Dottie. Okay. Yeah. Your aunt, you haven't seen your aunt Dottie until you can't fucking wait I 10 minutes? I'm all right. I don't care. What? If it was Aunt Peggy, I'd be like, all right. Your aunt Peggy's here. She's here? Yeah, and you haven't seen her okay. in fucking I'm, so I'm, long. Did you, just... you need a cigarette I'm, that bad? I'm, I'm, no, I'm good. I'm You're going to ignore Aunt Peggy? I'm, no, I'm not. I'm coming in. Okay. All right. <laughs> God, Aunt Peggy sounds cool. <laughs> That's right. a great bone, dude. It stinks. It does stink. And who put it in your pocket? Who's putting it in their pocket? People, dude, cigarette people. Because uh, cigarettes are ex expensive now. They they want to <laughs> take a couple whaps <laughs> yeah, you know, and, but... and light that sucker up. It's I mean, it's, it's, that's a bad move. It's like a cigar, dude. I put it out. I'll leave it. I don't, I'll come back to it. But I leave it there. I'll you, never take it with me. You just nailed it. Cigarette people, they're a different... Do you ever see that uh, Cedric the Entertainer bit? Mm. He goes, they'll be freezing. <laughs> they'll be fucking... Yeah. A cigarette... When somebody wants a cigarette, they it's any... All bets are off. That's why I like cigars. You need to have the time to smoke it. Mm -hmm. You need an hour. 
You don't got an hour, I ain't doing it. Yeah, 45 I'm not, minutes I'm not minimum. rushing through a cigar. 100%. I love when cigarettes were cheaper when I was a kid and people would smoke half a cigarette and throw it. I'd chase them around and I'd pick up the rest of their cigarette when I was like, you know, 12 or 13 trying what? to steal cigarettes. What? That was back then. Did you grow up in Cuba? Yeah, I know. Wait, <laughs> what the fuck is 13 that? 13 years old. You can't buy <laughs> cigarettes yeah, in the suburbs. <laughs> cigarettes were 84 cents. Yeah, I was a kid. You couldn't yeah, well, do that. Fucking steal a couple nickels. I would do that too. I'd steal cigarettes from people. Great ball and Joey. You're absolutely right. It's disgusting and there's people around that smell it. It's just he, he's right. Finish your cigarette. All right, one more uh, bone. Wrap this baby up. You ready? Is it a video, video bone? Video bone, baby. From it's a Justin. video bone. Video do Jose. Video do well, Jose. Well, okay, video okay. de Jose. Okay, he just got back from Cuba. Everybody, <laughs> listen. What's better than multiple video bones? This is I'm, Justin from the Patreon. You ready? Right. This is one of your biggest fans from Washington State, Justin LD. My bone is the motherfucking ER. Yeah, nurses are tired. Yeah, doctors are overworked. Yada, yada, yada. I get it. But when I go in there in excruciating pain, not even looking for drugs, just to get rid of the unrelenting nausea, it takes them about three hours to inject me full of something non-narcotic. But when it's time to get my info into the billing, that's instantaneous. Right away, scan the little thing on your arm. Every time they give you anything, scan the little thing on your arm. Got to make sure you're still you while you've been sitting there writhing in pain. Great shit, guys. Get it on. <laughs> I love it. I mean, that dude was cool as shit. He went, great shit, get it on. I don't know what that means. <laughs> no, he's basically gonna, like, get to the bomb. He's like in the dark on get, get it on. Get it on, brother. Get it on. Listen, man. Listen, it's Obamacare. Whoa. Wait, what? Oh, wow. I'm just kidding. You're happy. But no. What? I'm happy at you. <laughs> what? what are you I'm happy at you. I'm joking. What happy yeah, about what? I was in Toronto, dude. Ah, you were fucking in Toronto standing up with your hand over your heart going, <laughs> God bless. Uh, Mike was crying in a fucking sea of blue head women down at Washington dun, Square Park. Mike was going, um, no, dude, it's, it's when it comes to billing, when it comes to billing in medical field, they, they, they want your, uh, you know, they want all the information first. They don't care about the pain. You got to be, what I learned is you got to be bleeding. Dude, you got to get, you got to go to, you can't go to, ur you go to urgent care now. You don't go to ER. No, urgent care is rough too though. Nah, uh, you Pure go to, trash. You, ur you can go to urgent care. You can sign up. Yeah, Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> You're not in New York. Yeah, yeah you go to Urchin. Yeah, first of all, when I talk, I'm never talking about this city. I'm always talking about <laughs> Best Chester. What's up, son? Yeah. <laughs> Best Chester's Urgent bit. Care is like the best fucking hospital. Oh my God. Yeah, you yeah. go to fucking Urgent Care in fucking the you New make, York City. You have to know, uh, no, uh, see, uh, por favor, uh, Pano in head -o. Like, I have a bit like about it, but I go, uh, New York City Urgent Care, they, they're not urgent, they don't care. It's, a, yeah. it's the wrong name I for hate, the place. I hate doing fucking podcasts with comedians, because every time you say something funny, you always got to go, I got a bit about it on my act, So because if... <laughs> You got to be careful. One of us steals it. Yeah. You gotta, You're all yeah. like, dude, I do it in my act. Why don't you think I was I, running bits on you? Ah, dude, just say the bit. I'm sick of you two going, dude, I got a bit on it. Just yeah, say but they, it. But you, you kind of have to. No, we don't. Because then what happens if you do a bit? Then you go, dude, I did that in my act. And I go, oh, sorry, dude. And I don't do it. Okay. How about this, too? You say something funny or he says something funny. I'm never going to take that. I got a bit about how I went to Cuba during a hurricane. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, I got a, oh, dude, no, I, I got a bit about how I, I like they all came up to me because I had all the wires yeah, and yeah, batteries. Yeah. They you know, let, I like that bit. You know, guys, <laughs> keep what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just keep that. Let's keep that in. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Well, this was another great episode. Why are you opening, middling, and closing this fucking thing? You're just yapping. I just looked at him. Yeah. No, nah, no. Nah. Every oh, you wanna, seg oh, everyone you know. today. Let's start it. Hey, what's going on? Blah, oh, blah, blah. So and then let's go to the next one. Good bone. Oh, so you pay attention to that. Yeah, no, you, you do. No, you no, you're kidding. I'm just running All right, the then show. then let me do it. Go, I'd love for you to do it. <laughs> Fuck you. You do it. I would love. No, yeah, you do it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I opened. You should close right. it. Hey, what's up, everybody? What? Sorry. What? <laughs> Guys, thank <laughs> You're nuts. I mean, you're, you're nuts. Well, I was just. You're nuts. I just looked at the producer nah. go like this. No, no, no. Mike, nah. did you? First of all, don't ever break the fourth. What are you, Deadpool? What's the you fourth wall? At the, you don't know the fourth wall? What? Oh, God. What? Am I a Marshall Here's the Michaels? fourth wall. <laughs> Guys, he's an asshole. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. In a nutshell. Paul is a fucking yeah. lunatic and a Michaels looking for fucking clothing. <laughs>
Yeah. In a nutshell, fuck you. How's that? No, you close. I want you to close. Nah, you close, buddy. Uh, I was you, just you close it. Nah, nice. you take it. Your you birth- close it nice. Happy birthday to I you. I opened for my birthday. You close Happy it. Happy birthday. No, you close. No. Your show, baby. No. Happy I birthday. To. To I'll keep the show going. Let's do another going. bong. No, no, no. Let's go. Happy birthday. Thank you, dude. Happy birthday. Happy. Happy Uno, amigo oh, day no. to you. Stop, please. <laughs> please don't. God, don't go to another Latino country. Come on, man. I'm going, I'm going back to Cuba next week. No, you're not. Yeah. Go ahead. What do you got? What, are you going to go save the village? <laughs> I could have with all the <laughs> shit I had. <laughs> go ahead. What uh, do you got? Feliz cumpleaños. Thank you guys for listening uh, to the show. Can you do it? Just do it. Because I What's up, everybody? Eight. Listen, first of go. all. You guys are the best. This podcast is popping off. It's growing every week, and we can't tell you how much we appreciate that. Uh, gracias, amigo. No, no. Amiga. No. Uh, w- what? We're in America. Okay. You're not in Cuba anymore. There's lights. <laughs> There's lights. <laughs> it's hot as shit. It feels like <laughs> yeah, Cuba in the studio. Like hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, uh, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, go to patreon.com slash bone to pick. Cast, what are you looking at me for? I'm watching you. Bone to pick cast. Uh, join the Patreon. It helps out with the show, helps us get all kinds of stuff. Uh, you know, the new studio's coming. It, it just helps us a lot. You guys are the best. If you can't do that, all you got to do is watch this on YouTube or anything you're listening to it on and hit like and subscribe. That helps us out a lot for all the sponsorships. And a great thing, go to our sponsors. The people that we promote on here, we handpick them. We use them. We love them. And uh, make sure you use our codes because that tells them that you came from us, which helps us get sponsorship. It helps the show grow. We love doing it. We love you guys. Make sure you go to G- uh, bone to pick cast at gmail.com. Send your bones in. And if you join the Patreon, your bones go right to the top. Video bones go always go to the top. Keep those coming in. And uh, I'm going to be, uh, you can go to punchup.live slash Robert Kelly for all my dates. I am this weekend, Jesus, uh, Wichita and Arkansas. I, I think I have four fans total in both places. <laughs> So please, get your cousins. I know you have cousins in those places. And come on out of the woods. And then next week after that, I'm at the dojo. Tickets are selling fast. It's going to sell out. I got three shows. So go to punchup.live slash Robert Kelly. The dojo is fucking awesome. Where's the dojo? Uh, it's, in, it's in Jersey. It's in Jersey. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, this Thanks, weekend. Mike. I'm sorry, not this weekend. Next weekend, November 22nd and 23rd, I will be at the great Providence, Rhode Island Comedy Whoa! Connection. What? I was. Whoa. Why was your mouth to the side? Because I was pumping it up. Oh, okay. Uh, Comedy Connection is fucking amazing. Yeah! Is that better? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Still, they, got, they just still, got a new club. Still, they, Well, they renovated it, right? They bought a theater. 800 seat and 200 seat. Shout out to Corey and Dave. Those guys are fucking awesome. They got a restaurant next door to the uh, Providence Comedy Connection. But I'll be there uh, November 22nd, 23rd, Comedy Connection. Also, uh, I got some dates coming up. In December, and we are adding for 2025. Go to paulverzi.com. I want to thank everybody for watching Reasonable Man, my uh, streaming special right now on my YouTube channel. We're about to hit some uh, a milestone number uh, in in a month. So thank you guys. Check 40, that out. Forty thousand. Twenty. No. Nice. Uh, no, I think we're coming up on a hundred in a month. Nice. Nice. What? Nice. Uh, so there you go. So check that out. Paulverzi.com. Get me on my socials and Mike. Uh, uh, New York Comedy Fest this week. I'm at Upper West Side New York Comedy Club the 13th. This Wednesday at 7.30. Then Gramercy Theater, 8 o'clock this Friday the 15th. Nice. And that's it. Inmyownhead.com. That's awesome. Check out Mikey. We'll see you guys next time on... On Podcast Huso Para Escaiaguera. The Bones are Picked Podcast.